Hello everyone, Phil here, and I'm from the AquascapeGuide.com. Guess what? Well, I guess I don't have anything too exciting, but I just wanted to give you a little update on the 2 gallon nano that's a new Agumi. Well, you know I love me a good nano tank, but after having this going for a while, it just felt like I wanted a little more room. So I moved all of the contents of the 2 gallon nano into the 6 gallon long from F-Zone. It's been an awesome little tank. I've also used F-Zone's resin series stone, which made it really easy to escape with my kiddos because it's just one big piece of rock. We can just plop this stone in and off we go. And you have a beautiful looking hardscape. I've been running this setup for a couple of months now, but I feel like the design is getting a little stale. Don't get me wrong, I do love a classic Iwagumi, 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 but I want a little more breakup in the scape to add some visual interest. We have many ways to add visual interest to our scapes through breakup. Breakup in things like plant size, color, texture, and shape. For this kid, I don't want to add a ton of contrast in what's going on, so I want to keep it green in color. And I can't go with a plant that's too big in size, as it'll ruin the scale of the nano. So I need a green plant that'll stay smaller and has a cool texture or shape to it. Hmm. <gasps> you know what comes to mind? S. Repens. What a classic little plant. Now this is considered a stem plant, and if you have it under low light conditions, it'll grow pretty tall. However, if you have it in high light and CO2, it'll stay much smaller and more compact. And I think I want to add it in these little areas here, again, just for a little breakup. The hard part will be keeping it contained to these areas over time, because it will just want to spread out. So I grabbed myself two Tropica tissue culture cups from their 1-2 Grow series. I really like to try to stay with these tissue culture cups because not only are they pest free, but they're also algae free. So you don't have to worry about introducing something nasty into your tank. All we gotta do is pop this kit open, rinse off the plant, get all that gel off the bottom if there is any, break it into smaller pieces, and you plant it. It's literally that easy. And look at this, I'm loving it. You too can add a little more visual interest with a little breakup and texture in your scape. And voila! Look at this scape now, I'm really enjoying it. But hey, if you have s repens in your tank, we'd love to see it. Post a picture online and tag Aquascape Guide and Tropica Aquarium Plants. We wanna see how you've used it. Well, all right, I've gotta go add some water to my ATO. I'll be back soon with another video. Until then, later scapers.